Paul, bit of a bit of a different performance today from the boys. A bit of a more testing workout, would you say? Oh, well, you play a Premiership team, you know, so on their home patch on the, the three G. So I was that big patch. It was definitely a good test for us. I'm really pleased with a, with a, with a game. Overall, good learning for me and the staff, and obviously more importantly, the players. It was good, obviously. The Type of service that we're playing on today, what we're used to, but again, like we talked about last night, like last night's services, places we're going to have to get used to as well. Well, it's, you, have to, you have to go to all sorts of grounds. Obviously, in the championship now, there's pitches like us, you know, um, ours playing 3G, uh, Newington's going to be learning this year ourselves, uh, Anna, so it's good to get these types of games on. Uh, good workout for the boys. Just disappointed we conceded that third goal, more or less at the death, because I think 2 1 maybe might have been a a better result for us, you know. We had chances, second half and uh, second half performance was good. Was it about to ask your better second half performance in the first half? Well, we listen. The whole thing about pre-season is getting boys games, so we, we tried a few things out, a few things round, get boys opportunities to play, get them minutes, get them leg time. But I have a good idea what I want to do um, with the players. Obviously, young Ian Flanagan's come on, has done really well today. Really pleased with him for a young novice player. Um, he will be perfect for us. It's just a kiss if, if it's doable now for him to come here. Yeah. But uh, brilliant workout, good good exercise for the players, and we move on to Lumphine now next week. Overall, it's been a great weekend for the boys. Great camaraderie, even the once the whole camp. We've been down here all weekend. We talked about that last night. I mean, what was the spirit like? Even last night after the game, was it a great atmosphere around the whole camp? Well, brilliant. I spent a fair few pounds on pizzas, to be honest with you. <laughs> so we had the Dominoes and the and the. And the digs and we all got together, we all got around with a bit of fun, a bit of banter and in fairness the players were in bed very early, early and then me and the staff sat up and had a good chat about players and this process and what's going on. So it was really worthwhile the exercise, really appreciate the club get let me do this. I think it's something we should look to do more often, it'll help camaraderie and what you can do on a weekend. As I say, it would take you know, a month sometimes, yeah. so you're root with them 24-7 and them hours are, are essential. So good, good camp. We'll go out tonight now and socialise and have a, a club meal and get them, uh, get them, you know, a well-earned uh, bite to eat and, and, and rest, and we get ready then for next week's uh, training. And some of the social media posts we've even seen online, the boys have obviously had a brilliant bit of banter down here as well. I mean, between them all, especially like Johnny Fraser, he posted on today of some of the boys all getting together, and it's it's great to see, you know, because as you say, there it takes like a month or so to do that, but over a weekend, mm. it, it's great. I uh, know that's hot, and the, the most important thing is that. They get to know each other even a wee bit more. Mm -hmm. um, like we took a risk today bringing um, young Rob and from who was a Palomino last year, but we did that day. Obviously, just get a look at him. He was recommended by a good source, so it would have been a difficult game in fairness. Maybe unfair they throw him in so quickly, but no, I'm really pleased with the group um, learning Premiership traits. You know, for one is you need to be better with a ball. We have to be good with a ball. We're getting better. Um, and we played a really determined like that's not most of them boys will be Korean starting team this year. Yeah. And it's a good it's a good enough unit like so um, really good good experiences for our young players playing here today. And finally before you go, I mean two games next week, next Saturday again, my old at twelve, then three. Are we gonna be looking at the sort of same sort of thing again, two different teams or are you sort of gonna mix and match to see obviously where you stand? No, we learned the lesson last day because the game's so intense in the afternoon you can't really so we picked two squads. Um, I'll probably use some of uh, Mark's 21s in that game as well, and you speak to Mark about it. Um, and then have a bigger squad in the afternoon. So, look, I'm really, listen, it's been a good pre season. I'm enjoying it. Um, I hope the players are enjoying it. Uh, don't get me wrong, we don't like losing matches, but at the end of the day, we have to put it in the context. There's a reason and a strategy for what we're doing. We're kind of working above our levels at the moment, and that's what we wanted to see how it takes us on their next level. So, the players have, as I says, the game, particularly second half, with good moments on it, good, uh, good avenues at the goal. Good defensive qualities, big Mer Merson's done well in nets. Yeah, <laughs> so because awesome. we played a good team, he's a player to practice today. So he's made four or five really good saves. So that makes it clear for me about what we possibly do with him. So really, overall, a good weekend.